I'm Saleh Mahmoud. I'm originally from Iraq, from Mosul. I think all of people heard about Mosul, the liberated city from the ISIS. And uh, I am founder and manager now for the first maker space in the city. It's named Mosul Space. And we start for me, um, at, it was like in 2013, I joined the college. And then I noticed that the, the study, academic study in the university is, doesn't fit with my passion to make things, hacking things, doing some things to be useful for me and for the community. And then I, I started the idea of making the first maker space. At the first time, it was so hard to make it because we didn't have, it's a new idea for the community and we didn't have the resources, enough resources. So we make it virtual. We gather in the cafe and in the university gardens and do some stuff with electronics, with hand tools, discussion ideas. And then the ISIS came in to control the city and the team is divided into two teams. There is people still in Mosul and for me and other people is going outside Mosul. At that point, it's, we, like, we lost a lot of things. You lost your home, your family, your relative. You divided into two groups, outside and inside, and you are like IDBs, internal displaced people. But it's still you have like the patience to do things. So we wait one year and then after that we decided to do events with partnership with other people who give us like a place or some make make it easy for us to support us with in kind support. My family is went to some small town between Mosul and Erbil. And then I will I I went to Kirkuk. I complete my university study in Kirkuk, an alternative site of the University of Mosul. So I did a lot of activities with my team in Kirkuk and also in Erbil, talking about technology, maker movement, how to use your experience in, in making things to develop some product maybe for your startup, how to use, use the time of the university, like if you are studying engineering in university, how to use that time or a graduation project to make something helpful for people or helpful for you to make a business from it. Yeah. We focused on that angle. One of the main points of maker spaces, we noticed that we are involving a lot of people so from different groups, different backgrounds, and no one asks them about their like groups or who, who they are. It's just passion with technology, with business, with doing this stuff, with hacking. So it's you and the teamwork is like making people is very close to each other. So that is very important in, in two points when there is like ISIS trying to kill people according to their groups or according to their like religion. We are at the same time doing activity to get to based on technology, gathering all the groups, all people, and they are working together. And the other point is when we return back to Mosul, there is like, imagine with me, there is the half of people, the half of the citizen of the Mosul, still three years with ISIS, and they are just watching how ISIS is killing, doing some bad things. And the other group is going outside Mosul, open up, they, they open to other cities, other cultures, communicating with Baghdad, Erbil, and Kurdistan. So there is a difference between these two groups. When they back to the city, they, they feel that there is a difference between them. This is more open, this is more like filled with disappointed, with the pain. He lost like three years of his life, his education, his, his everything. So we, we tried to gather these two people in, in activities. And after one year of doing activities with, with these people, as we noticed that the differences between them is like disappeared. They feel like it's, it's okay, we are now same, in the same city living with the same knowledge or with the same awareness of, about things. So that is, is, is very important for using like technology, maker movement, to change mindset, to, to involve people with things that 
not, that make them not to be involved in another bad things. Actually, now we are working on the campaign. It's named Mosul 2013. And one of our activities workshop we have in, in Republica about opening or declaring this campaign to be start. And this campaign is like inspiring young people of Mosul how to imagine their a driven, uh, technology driven city in after 10 years. And that make, make them like an inspiration to do things, to develop a project, to help people in that city. So we are imagining about print, doing some buildings using 3D printers, maybe doing some stuff with the aerospace. So this is just imagine and we hope that we achieve it.